Okay, here's how to get Creative Commons licensed free use images for your project. First of all, we're gonna go to photosforclass.com. We're here, it's as easy as that. I want a picture of a moose. Check it out, so many to go through. I like this guy. I'm on a MacBook Pro, so I'm gonna use a two finger tap on the trackpad, and I'm gonna go to save image as. All right, moose, I'll put it in Dropbox so I can get it later from another computer and save it. By doing so, I get the picture itself without the attribution. However, if I click on download, open it up, you can see here at the bottom, it comes right with all of the information that I need. Okay, let's start off going to the bottom here, getting our iMovie open, should be in your dock. If not, you can just hit command spacebar and use the spotlight to find it. So now we're going to import the images that we found and make sure they're in the right order. So command tab opens up my finder. If it doesn't, it's minimized, bring it to the front. In my Dropbox, I have my pictures. Click and drag them down here. Now, they're all highlighted. If they were in the wrong order, I can click it and drag it wherever I like, just like so. I actually believe that these are in the right order for my narration. So, that is how it's done. You click on it so it's highlighted, and then you grab it by the top, and you can drag it wherever you need it to be back and forth, very simple, easy to do. So that is how you import your images and then order them. Okay, so now here we are. We wanna have the paper available to us. We don't wanna be in our iMovie project while we're recording this. People have this tendency to try and keep up with the pace of the pictures that way. And no matter what you tell them, someone's gonna do it. So we're in QuickTime. Again, you can just do Command Spacebar to open up your spotlight and type in QuickTime. Once we've done so, we're here. File, new audio recording. I can see now because this is moving that I'm recording. Hello. Hello, my name is Sean. I come from Canada, land of the mighty moose. Canadians all love hockey, especially the Winnipeg Jets, the best ever NHL franchise. And we all love to eat poutine. Thanks for watching. Okay, so once you're finished recording, you can just hit this little red button over here and you can call it what you like. Go for narration. I'm saving it in music where I save most of my sound files and save it. Away we go. We're now going to look at adding titles and transitions. Quite easily done. Uh, transitions, go with that first. I tell the students to use only three and use them repetitively. I also like to leave enough freedom for their creativity that if they can tell me why they need an extra one, that means they're thinking of their audience, they're thinking of their craft, if you will. So I usually let it go. For example, I like to start with circle open, rather pedestrian, and then I just rehash, generally cross dissolve, cross blur, and at the bottom, I like cross zoom. I'm actually gonna add another slide here which is available on the website that's a nod to attribution. Uh, get my finder to the top here, and uh, yeah, here, we go. here it is. Click it, drag it in. Oh, pardon me, I'll put this here. Just grab one more, um, and I like to fade to, well that's white, so let's fade to white at the end. All right, so now, titles, titles. Under titles, strangely. If you click on any of them and you scroll over them, you see what they look like. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time looking for them. Get over top of it, this can be a little finicky. So I'm gonna call this Sean's. Hit enter. Once I've done so, I click down here. You see, if it don't see the words down here, that means it hasn't worked, so I gotta try it again. Enter, enter. There, we see it's Sean's video, that's right. Now I can't have text on text, you won't be able to read it. So I'll find this beautiful picture over here, highlight it, Command C to copy it, and put it at the end. Command V, and drag the text over here, that's where it'll show. And this one, I'm going to say, tap, tap, thank you. And there we go, it says that there. So there's your lesson on how to get transitions and titles in, which now brings us to importing our narration. Command tab to finder, it's called narrated, wonderful. Click it and drag it down here. Once you got it in there, bring it to the front. You can zoom in a little bit here, so we can see a little bit better what we're doing, doing some fine tuning work. Two fingers on the trackpad, scrolls it. We're lucky in that, at the beginning and end of something, we can just scrub it out to get rid of stuff. Now, let's give it a listen. Hello, my name is Sean. I come from Canada. Good, now these hills down here you may have gathered, that's the voice. 
those are the waveforms. So I'm gonna go here where this white line is because the narration is highlighted yellow. Command B will cut it. I can scrub that out a bit if I feel like it. Now, I want to have the narration starting after the image. So the image starts here, narration starts here, where the waveforms are great, but it ends before I finish talking before the picture. So now, if we do it like this, we get a good pace. Hello, my name is Sean. I come from Canada. Great. Now, you can scrub this out a little bit. I'm gonna wait too long. Bring it over. So now I can see that the narration starts after the image again. Land of the mighty meese. Land of the mighty moose. Now, I said meese, that's a mistake. Make sure when you're recording, you never stop and try to get it perfect. You make a mistake, you just say it again, and then you cut it out like this. Watch, Command B. I'm bitten you right there, so I say the right one. Land of the- Okay, great. I can just scrub that to that point right there. Scrub it over. Make sure I got it right. Land of the mighty moose. All right, that's a good one. Bad one's gone, no one ever knows. This can be bigger, but uh, there's too much downtime there. We gotta keep our pace in mind. Don't wanna bore your audience. You wanna give them time to see the image, process it, and get the narration, but not too much. Uh, land of the mighty moose. Excellent, okay, next words. Scrub it over, Let's see how that works. Make it start a little bit after the image. We all love ice hockey in Canada. The Winnipeg Jets is the best team. Highlight it, Command B. Stretch this out to match. If I'm super finicky, I can cut this and uh, make this a little shorter. If I think there's too much downtime between my, my speaking there, too much space. And this is up to you. It doesn't have to be this perfect. I'm just a bit of an OCD case. Okay. We all love ice hockey in Canada. The Winnipeg Jets is the best team in the entire NHL franchise. Let's see how that goes. And we love to eat poutine. Now this next part here is gonna say, thanks for watching. So that doesn't go here. I put it at the end. I've added this attribution slide to get the kids started with it. If you don't want to have that as Ken Burns, once it's highlighted, you can go to this cropping over here and just say crop to fill. So now I might even make it a little bit shorter. Wait one second. Make this shorter as well. Teen. Thank you for watching. Now you may recall, I've put this picture in here twice because we just wanted to have a nice ending picture and you can't have this text on top of this. Nobody can read it. It defeats the purpose entirely. All right, that's the end of that lesson. Wow, you're actually pretty good at this. Now we're ready to import the background music. Command tab, get that finder on top. This is actually copyright free in that, um, actually I can't say that. It's either copyright free music or it's something I made myself in GarageBand. That's another tutorial. Now this is gonna be great in that it fills in all the gaps, adds another sort of like a layer to our story and you know, any little mouth clicks or anything like that or a door closes, it helps get rid of that. So turn it way, way down, try to 8%. Make sure it doesn't distract from the narration. Hello, my name is Sean. I come from Canada. Land of the mighty moose. Fantastic. We all love ice. You see, it's a nice thing too, between speaking parts, it sort of adds, um, like I said, a layer to it, some more emotion. The more uh, the senses you can involve, the better any piece of communication will be. Let's zoom out. And now you can see, you don't want that to go on forever, so you bring it to the end here. You can also, if you like, fade in and fade out. This double arrow here with the line is for making it longer or shorter. If you go over this white one, however, there are two little triangles that is fade in, fade out. All right, final lesson, how to render it. This is dead easy. Just go over here and you can save it as a file. Oftentimes they'll send things right to YouTube. Save it as a file, that way you'll have it no matter what. The sample. And now tags are good if it's in YouTube. We're not in YouTube, so I'm not worried about that. Next, make sure you put it in the right place. Movies, make sense, save it. Now, once this little white circle is completely white, congratulations, you're finished. You can do whatever you want with this. You can put it on a website, you can put it on YouTube, share it out through Facebook. It's yours to do with as you please. Engage.